My name is Charles Kalonga. I'm the country director for Population Media Center. Population Media Center is a non-profit organization in the SBC industry. We use a unique methodology of entertainment education to reach out to various target audiences. We are dedicated to working for the rights of women and girls, as well as population stabilization and the environment. Population Media Center Zambia has been in operation for uh, about seven years. We started in 2018. Um, three projects have been implemented so far. Uh, the first project was the USID Community Radio Program, uh, which was uh, implemented in five provinces, Central Province, Muchinga, Luapula, Northern and Western Province. Under this project, we produced um, 312 episodes in uh, two languages, Bemba and uh, Lozi. And these were radio dramas, and we worked with 17 radio stations. Um, we addressed issues on HIV AIDS, family planning, nutrition, gender-based violence, malaria, uh, civic engagement, uh, education focusing on the girl, child being in school, as well as cross-cutting issues on maternal and gender issues. The, the drama that was um, uh, aired in, in the northern part of Zambia in Bemba was Kwishiria, meaning over the horizon, and the Lozi drama aired in a western province is uh, what's called Singalamba, meaning breaking the barriers. In addition to the USID community radio program uh, project that was implemented, Population Media Center also implemented two other uh, projects supported by Department of State. Um, the first one was an uh, electoral participation radio campaign, which was uh, implemented countrywide um, in all the seven local languages. And this focused on encouraging the youth and peer marginalized populations and women to participate in uh, the electoral process. So registering to vote and actually uh, going to vote on the voting day. This was prior to the 2021 um, presidential and general elections. The other project uh, supported by Department of State was uh, trafficking in human. And this was also uh, implemented nationwide, uh, focusing on uh, encouraging people to report um, human trafficking activities or suspected uh, human trafficking activities. For the USID uh, community radio program, um, I'm proud to say uh, we had 1.5 million uh, regular listeners on a weekly basis. I think that is really a, a high score and it just shows how popular the project was. Uh, for the Department of State, uh, uh, looking at uh, uh, electoral processes and, or should I say, the electoral participation radio program campaign, um, we saw the largest number of youth registering uh, as well as participating in the elections. Um, we also saw the highest uh, ever number of uh, people who turned out to vote in the 2021 presidential and general elections. For the Department of State, uh, a project that looked at human trafficking, we saw a rise in uh, reports of uh, suspected or actual uh, trafficking in human. I think this was a huge score for us. Um, I believe that Population Media Center Zambia contributed to um, the awareness and um, the channels that those that witnessed or were suspected people being trafficked could report to. Like any other organization in the development sector, uh, Population Media Zambia is uh, facing um, resource constraints. And this is due to uh, competing priorities um, by donors as well as by uh, the government as well. Uh, that is one. Two, um, the changing uh, landscape in media. 
Um, we know now that there are more channels that various target audiences um, I reached, um, the, particularly in the entertainment uh, sector. People have got uh, a number of choices. Um, they can choose to watch things on YouTube, on TikTok, TV, radio, and that just, just poses a challenge in terms of um, how best to reach um, the aimed target audience for, for various projects. Uh, the third one, um, I would say it's the social norms, uh, the norms that um, are in themselves negative, but they're deeply entrenched in the Zambian culture, and those need to be changed. Um, I would say summarizing uh, into challenges that PMC is facing is those three. So resource constraints, changing media landscape, as well as um, the entrenched uh, social norms on various issues that we try to address. My vision for Population Media Zambia is rooted in harnessing the power of storytelling to inspire behavior change and empower communities by producing compelling media content that addresses critical issues like reproductive health, gender equality, environmental sustainability, and foster lasting social transformation and improve the well-being of Zambians. See, we prioritize evidence-based approaches, um, continuous monitoring and evaluation uh, to ensure that our programs remain effective. Uh, we conduct thorough research to understand the needs and preferences of our target audiences. We tailor our messages accordingly. We regularly assess the impact and, uh, of the interventions through rigorous um, evaluation methods. We also ensure that our programming remain culturally uh, sensitive so that there's no offense as we are addressing some of the social norms that are deeply uh, entrenched. Uh, this commitment to data-driven decision-making um, allows us to continually refine and improve our initiatives for greater impact. Well, one of the challenges I mentioned that PMC is facing is the, uh, the changing media landscape. And because of that, uh, PMC developed the InnovaLab program. Uh, this program will test our proven PMC methodology, theory of change, and research methods to move forward in the social and behavior change communication space. The idea is to innovate, um, use new approaches that will resonate with the target audiences. And the objective is to implement and learn and scale um, on programs and projects um, that can benefit uh, the target audiences do using different approaches. Under the Innovola program, we have three projects. One on the Copper Belt, one will be implemented in Eastern Province and the other in Southern Province. Uh, on the Copper Belt, we're uh, trying out what we're calling, uh, we're implementing what we're calling the call-in program, and this is um, addressing issues of family planning, maternal and child health, uh, so sexual gender-based violence. In Eastern Province, uh, we will implement the comic show. Uh, this will be in Chadiza and Katete districts of Eastern Province, uh, looking at um, uh, issues of HIV AIDS, sexual and gender-based violence, teenage pregnancies, and early child marriages. In Southern Province, it will be the mini-series Boom Effect. Um, um, again, we'll be looking at uh, family planning, sexual and gender-based violence, and HIV and AIDS. The projected uh, success and impact of the Novala project um, that I've mentioned um, are a stepping stone to PMC Zambia sourcing for funds um, so that we can scale. As we all know uh, the issues that are being addressed uh, under the various Innovola projects now are not only um, particular to those areas where the projects are being uh, implemented now. These are countrywide issues and uh, PMC Zambia would like to expand 
uh, to other regions um, within the country.